done. Well done, James. Well, that's great for James. <laughs> well, sweetie, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. In the details. No one wants to know about the details. It was a dream, you know. The horse ran great. Everything sort of seemed to happen in front of him. He was ready at the end. You know, came on after the water and just finished up strong. And really, it was a great, great feel. Were there any crazy moments out there? Yeah, I, I didn't really jump a fence until the uh, the fourth fence because they kept breaking in front of me. They didn't jump the third choke broken rail in front of me there so <clears throat> they'd come into the you know it was they sort of loose horses everywhere yeah, yeah. a lot to keep out of an eye for but you know as my greatest friend in the world Jay Griswold says sometimes you're the windshield sometimes you're the bug so today feels good to be the windshield <laughs> Oh, James! Hey, you gotta hang on to it all. <laughs> the ground needed to be hard for this horse, and um, it was hard out there. And boy, rode the horse exactly. James rode the horse exactly like I told him to. Just sit back and let it all fall apart. And yep. You should have plenty of horse to get there. Don't pay any attention to the horse in front, right. which he didn't do. And the horse jumped up and ran the biggest race of his life today. So. I don't ever cry, but I was crying today. Pretty nice. Very, very nice. How's it feel? It feels extraordinarily good. And um, having come from England, to watch the Grand National in England and then to come here and to win this is as emotional, I imagine, as the other way around, like um, Tommy Smith and um, Charlie Fenwick. Yeah. So, I mean, really, I'm unbelievably excited. <laughs> well. Everybody knows my horse gets a little strong and wants to go, go, go. So I went out to the front, and the first couple of fences, George Hunt was giving me pressure, and my horse was a little uncomfortable with it. So I just kind of pulled away from it, and he's just trying to run off. But he's backing off the fence, it's going great. Yeah. You know, jumping fine. The 16th through the 18th was a little rough, but the 19th just tapped him, yeah. jumped it great. Yeah. Then going to the 20th, he starts slowing down because it's a different fence, and just slid a little bit and stopped because he's so exhausted. Yeah. Going over fences that size, it's like you never know what's going to happen. You know, it's it's a question. You don't know if you'll make it around. You don't know what will happen. You know? Oh, it's so much fun being on a horse that like that, which I trust so much. That's why I never expected that to happen in the 20th, and um, it was just a blast. You know, I think you'll do it again? Definitely. Um, I thought I thought we were traveling great. I was really excited. He's a little bit of a rank horse in the beginning. Typically, in the beginning of his races. Uh, I, I felt like he settled right off the bat, yeah. and I was thrilled to death. Uh, he caught the third. He jumped it well. He, he took off at a good spot, jumped it well, but just kind of got a little bit sticky at the top of it, landed hard. Yeah. He's, a, he's a fighter. He, he galloped away from it beautifully. Jumped the next two great, and then uh, there was a couple of horses being a little bit dodgy in front of us, so when we came around the corner to the sixth, I got clear of them and I was thrilled to death because I didn't want to go into the sixth with anybody swerving in front of me. Yeah. And they were swerving going into the, into the fifth. Yeah. Uh, so I was clear. He had the perfect spot. I mean, I was like, thank God we're leaving where we're leaving because this is smooth. And he jumped and then I think he just caught his knees and did a full somersault. Um, Gus Brown was behind me. He said he could see my horse's throat latch between his front legs. Um, so the horse is okay, thank God. Uh, he's a game little son of a gun. Yeah, um, I'm sore, but I walked away, thank God. It, there's a little loose horses causing some trouble for some people, but all the while it wasn't too bad. I mean, big fences, you're going to have accidents, and luckily enough, we stayed up and got through. Uh, yeah, the one loose horse came right in front of us before the jump, and luckily my horse was smart enough to jump it from a standstill. But there was a few incidents where I was grabbing for the sky. I love it. This is the reason I stayed an amateur my whole career. 
is to come here. Finally, I got a chance to go around it on a good horse that jumped around and finished third. Uh, it was good. You know, we started out this week. We weren't sure we were going to run the horse. Uh, he didn't have a good spring at all. And uh, we sort of felt, hey, he made it most of the way last year. Let's try it. And uh, you never know in this race, as we saw today. Um, you know, we stuck out back. Our plan was to let the race unfold. We knew there weren't going to be many finishers. And that's the way it turned out. A lot of knockdown fences. We threw a shoe at the ninth, so that messed us up a little bit, almost came out of the saddle, and we just held on, finished the race strong, was very happy. Uh, the horse jumped fantastically, um, couldn't ask for anything else, didn't know the horse all that well, and uh, was, was thrilled with the ride, had a, had a, a rough sh uh, trip at the 18th, the loose horse uh, cut us off and took us, and we ended up doing a little 100-yard extra, extra loop, uh, but then he got back in the mix, and off we went again, and we, uh, we finished strong, so. I, um... After the first fence, I saw they were going very fast, so I just decided to, I thought I couldn't go slow enough, and um, a lot of horses took out a lot of rails, and um, I, I ended up uh, just going around behind and making a run, going when I wanted to go. I crossed the road, and I thought I was right where I should be for my horse, and to be honest, he broke down badly up the stretch, so uh, I don't know if that had any did anything but whatever that was what was going on I, I really had a great trip I mean uh, I, you know the field got spread out pretty quickly but my horse was really for the most part jumping phenomenally and uh, I, I was thrilled with where I was he settled into a great rhythm and he was you know he was going as well as you could want a horse to go around here I got lucky at the six somebody took out the rail there in front of me I think George Hunt maybe took out the rail there in front of me so I think he'd have jumped it well but I got lucky anyway um, and just had a brilliant trip, had a huge jump at the 12th, and uh, it got to the 16th, and I just got in a bad spot, and it tightened up around me. A horse came from the outside in and the inside out, and I was getting quartered by both, and I committed 10 strides out to going to a spot I never should have gone for, and the horse kept backing, trying to back out, saying, no, this is crazy, and I kept, I was adamant, and he was right and I was wrong, and I ended up on my head. Uh, you know, my, I thought my horse would thrive in this environment, and he was just on the muscle. Uh, he did not really settle like he usually does, and we came to a dead wrong spot at the six, and I thought it was going to be a lot worse. I used to ride front over fences as well, and I have to say, I don't think I could have ridden this. And I rode for a long time and loved it, but I really don't think I would have had the nerve for this. Yeah. It's an amazing race, it really is. Yes. <laughs> Expensive. You didn't do that one. Right? I was running with Kevin. Watching Mark Burns, Yard, something else. Right around down there. Go back to the other race. Was he back? They just told me, I guess we're going to go to the Hunt Ball now. What's the other thing? He's going like